Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to another Call of Duty Vanguard video. Today we are back with another map guide video and today we're taking a look at the map Berlin, which you guys can see right here. And this is another one of the largest maps in the game. As you guys can see, there is a ton of buildings, a ton of cover, so many different areas of this map. This is probably actually going to be one of my longer map guides, maybe next to Desert Siege, which was yesterday's video. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So as normal, with all of these videos, I'm going to show you guys where all of the high traffic areas of the map are and then we're gonna sh i'm gonna show you guys as many spawns that i can think of and then of course we will go ahead and actually go in depth about this map and everything of that nature so uh starting off here with all of the most uh, common areas of the map i'm just instead of doing just one individual red circle per um you know per place i'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys every single high traffic area on the map uh, because I think that makes it a little bit easier and a little bit more clear. So starting off here immediately, let's let's go ahead and give you guys all of the areas that are the most popular right now. Which, and so that includes most of the building areas as well as some of the uh, little side routes here. But other than that, those are where all of the uh, high traffic areas are, mostly in the buildings. Uh, because there's a lot of them and a lot of them are pretty centralized, which obviously means that a lot of action is going to go down in those areas uh, now with the spawns these are all the spawns i will put all of these spawns that i can think of or that i know of on the screen right now for you guys to check out so that you are aware of those as well uh, so let's go ahead and get into this map guide now now berlin is an interesting map it's really really big obviously as you guys can see by that uh by the mini map but i actually don't really mind this map too much obviously i didn't like it very much when it first came out but now I like it a little bit more, especially because now there's more players uh, on these maps. Whenever you have, if you have tactical, I think the the lowest number for tactical is like 8v8. So it's it's still a relatively fast paced map, even though it is uh, really, really big. So uh, I'm going to do this sort of the simple stuff first. I'm going to go ahead and head over to the left first because it's kind of the uh, most low density area. And then we'll, of course, talk about the middle and then finally the other side as well. We are actually getting very, very close to the end of my map guide videos here within the game so far. I think we only have about four maps left, which is really, really exciting. So, again, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So, starting off here from this spawn point here, you can get a whole long line of sight all the way down to enemies that are by that tank. And even up there on top of that train car, this I have seen some people up there before. It gives me line of sight to enemies over by that little, um, by that little uh, exploding barrel. And then, of course, I can get a line of sight if I jump up on here, all the way to the spawn down there. Again, there's a destructible environment here, which you can use to kind of get a flanking route over to enemies over here. And they basically go all the way down this little uh, road until about right here. And then they are over. Again, I don't really know what the point of this one is in particular, especially this one, this one, and or these two, because uh, the other ones, this one, and this one actually give you some cover the other ones don't do anything for you really so i'm not really sure why uh, these ones are there but again they are still destructible environments nonetheless now if we go all the way over here these little boards are destructible as well but again not a lot of action happens here this is more of a sort of a route that gets you over to the other side of the map again uh <clears throat> you know kind of giving you guys just a little uh, you know in-game view of the popular areas we have right here we have right there and then we have right there um so the only thing that the this area is really good for is sort of getting a flanking route maybe if you're going for challenges this is a really good long shot spot but other than that i really wouldn't recommend spending much time over here because again there's really no point to it um just because of the sheer fact that the only thing that you're going to be able to see is enemies coming from over to that spawn in that building and by the time you actually get a couple of shots on they're probably already going to be in that building so again, we don't really recommend spending much time here unless you plan on going all the way over here and then, uh, you know, head glitching or trying to take out enemies and get a flanking route on enemies over there. Now coming over here, again, exploding barrel there and exploding barrel down there. Uh, feel free to destroy those or use those to your advantage anytime you want. And in this building, we have a little, or obviously we have this little tiny building here, which is actually called the shed, uh, which you can open these doors, which takes you over to this area of the map. 
And then we have these windows here, which you can open that give you a line of sight over two enemies way down there, which is very, very awesome as well. And it's a little bit more of a more cover oriented uh, sort of line of sight to those enemies, which I actually kind of recommend. I actually recommend instead of going down there on the dock, staying here on this uh, in these windows, if you're going to take out enemies that are down there in that spawn point. Now coming back here, this allows you to get a line of sight to enemies that are over in the train yard over there, as well as enemies that are coming through this building, specifically through that doorway. Uh, you might be able to get a little bit of an image of an enemy's head right there. For the most part, this is basically just a really, really good area to uh, you know, scan towards the middle of the map, which is very, very awesome as well. And then again, same sort of thing over here. Uh, allows you to get just a little bit of a different angle. Uh, allows you to get cover from uh, enemies that are right there and allows you to focus on down there as well. And that's pretty much it for this head glitch. I can't use this uh, really to my advantage in any way uh, from this perspective. Obviously, I can take out enemies that might be camping up there, enemies that are camping up there, and then maybe enemies that are up there as well. But other than that, this place back here is just a little... Uh, that's basically all this is good for, is just taking out some enemies that are walking across uh, down there. Now, I can't jump on this. Um, this is the end of the map, of course. Uh, you know, I can't get back there or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get into this building. Uh, now, this building has a destructible environment in it, but again, a lot of people don't really spend much time over here. Again, I have, through all of the times I've played this map, there's been one enemy up here. Um, for the most part, no one really hangs out here. There's, I mean, it just rarely ever happens. Uh, sometimes they will, but for the most part, people don't really spend much time over here. So uh, then, now coming through here, opening up these doors real quick, we have a line of sight once again. To the train yard over there, specifically uh, that doorway, is where enemies will be. And we also have a straight route <clears throat> to getting into the enemy spawn like this. And again, keep your sights up over here because you never know if enemies are spawning over there. But again, this is also sort of a little bit of a more low traffic area than other parts of the map. And not a lot of action happens here. You can climb up on all this stuff here. And you may even be able to get up there, which it actually doesn't look like you can. Which is, I think, done on purpose because I think... Yeah, you just can't get up there at all, which is really, really nice. <clears throat> now coming in here into this building, a few open windows here uh, that you can you know, get some line of sights to enemies on the head glitch I showed you guys earlier. You can get a line of sight to enemies that are coming from B. And honestly, I recommend uh, coming here really, really quick early, especially early in game. And someone's cap if someone cap is capturing B because it allows you to uh, sort of get, you know, a... Oh, pardon me allows you to get a really, really easy line of sight on enemies that are over there, which is obviously pretty cool. And then you can get a line of sight to enemies coming through that doorway also. And now coming over here through this doorway and coming up here, uh, this is actually one of the more popular areas of the map. It actually gives you a complete line of sight to be, as well as enemies running through there and enemies that are up there as well. Um, so I do see people up here all the time and I actually recommend even going up here for a little bit. Obviously, just like any camping spot in Call of Duty, you don't want to spend much time here because it's going to be risky and you're going to probably, uh, enemies are going to pick up on it. They're going to try and flank you. So maybe get one or two kills here and then run away. You can also climb out onto this roof, which is, you know, it does actually serve a purpose, believe it or not. Um, it allows you to uh, kind of get a full 360 of from this area to this area to this area over here and then it allows you to sort of get a view over to the spawns which is pretty cool and again this is a destructible environment here which if you're playing in this area you can actually probably get a little bit of a flank here and shoot enemies that are coming from down below if you so wish but again i don't really see very many enemies up here ever because again there's no point i mean there is a point to it but again if you spend too much time up here you're going to be killed because again there is a sort of uh, double-edged sword effect to this i mean you can get a couple of kills but you're also in the complete wide open, so enemies are going to be, it's going to be very, very easy for enemies to see you. From up here, I can jump down onto that truck. And again, I was just going to see if you could jump over to there, but you obviously can't. So again, this is a pretty useful area as well. You can get a line of sight to even enemies that are way up there. And even uh, uh, down up there as well, which is pretty dang awesome. And even a line of sight to enemies that are right there. So pretty, pretty good area up here. But again, I wouldn't recommend spending too much time up here because again... It's going to be pretty darn risky. Now, coming over here to this side, again, this basically just gives you a sheer line of sight to enemies up there. I can also climb up here on this watchtower, which is pretty awesome. And then again, it gives me just another angle to enemies over there, enemies up there, 
and enemies that are there. And then if I run all the way through it, I can get a line of sight to enemies that are over here in this area of the map, as well as a even easier line of sight to enemies over there. So again, there's a lot of ways to sort of um, take out enemies that are over there. I mean, I think we found like maybe five or six different ways to actually take out enemies over there. We also have this, which I'm not sure why this destructible environment is here. It obviously serves a purpose, but it also doesn't. It just makes this building a little bit less good. That's really all it does. Again, I don't really know uh, some of these destructible environments on these maps. I'm not really sure I understand them, but there we go. This is a destructible environment here. I guess it gives you sort of the same angle to there and there like that this would. Not really sure what the point of this um, destructible environment here is, but there we go. It's part of the, the map, so I'm definitely going to cover it. Now, coming over through here, this is going to be a pretty quick section. Uh, Mo well, maybe. Uh, basically, this just this section just allows you to get a, a perfectly straight path to over here. So one of the reasons I like this... Oh, by the way, V2 Rockets. Hello. Um, by the way, the reason I like this area so much is because of a flank room. I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, but there's a couple of options here uh, for playing this area. Number one, keeping your sights up right here to take out enemies that are over there. As well as there's a few entrances into this building. This being the first one. This being the second one, and then there's the third, fourth, and fifth area with these doors. Um, basically, this just is uh, allows you to sort of... Um, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say here. Uh, basically, this just allows you to get into the middle of the map, which is pretty dang useful. And the fact that there's a lot of doors here means you're going to have to be pretty careful. Again, I'll, I'll, talk, about more, I'll talk more about this building here in a second. Um, but first, I want to show you guys why I like this area so much. So first of all, not a lot of action happens here. Obviously, enemies that are up on these stairs here can see you. And throughout all of these destructible environments, enemies can see you. But one of the things that I do like, which I'm getting to right now, is that if I run all the way through here, and I mean all the way through here and come up these stairs, I have a actually a really, really, really good flanking route for a couple of reasons. Number one... Enemies that are coming through here aren't really going to know I'm here because, again, I actually had to wait a while to discover that this was a spot. Number two, enemies might be right here, and so I can easily just shoot them in the back. Or I can take out enemies that are coming from right there, and then I can instantly run back over this way, which is, again, really, really awesome. Okay, so... Again, I just really, really, really like this area. It's just such a good flanking route. Now let's go ahead and cover this little train station building here. So number one, there are, this is not a destructible environment here, which actually makes it pretty good cover. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind though, when you're playing this map is that a lot of times enemies will camp in here. They'll either camp behind this window or they'll camp right here. Because again, just like in one of the previous maps I've covered like Hotel Royal and uh, Eagle's Nest and other maps, this building also has uh, these little um, glass pane areas, which are destructible environments, of course, which allows me to get a line of sight to enemies that are coming through there, as well as enemies that are coming up the stairs. And this is actually a really, really annoying camping spot that happen that people use a lot on this map. And there's really very, very few ways to actually counter it, except for the way that I showed you guys earlier. So definitely use that if you are finding enemies camping here. Obviously, they can destroy this destructible environment right here. So they can see you coming up, but a lot of the, a lot of people don't really know about this area. So just keep that in mind uh, as well. We have another destructible environment right here, which really serves no purpose. Again, why is there a destructible environment right here when there's a door right here? Again, it doesn't really make much sense, but there we go. It is what it is. And basically all this does is it gets you line of sight to enemies that might be coming right here and not know you're there early game. Enemies that are coming through that doorway there. Enemies that are right there and enemies that are right there. I can obviously jump on this if I so wish. Go all the way out and then take out enemies that are right there again, but it's a pretty small space, so probably won't be that useful for you. So pretty much that's it about with this building. Again, just keep in mind that enemies might be coming through those doorways. Uh, you can also open this window up here to take out enemies that are on B. This is actually a really, really good view on B. Or never mind, that was wrong. You, yeah, you can get a good view to enemies on B right there, which is awesome, as well as enemies that are camping in here. We'll just show you guys in a second. Again, same thing here. This window opens, allows you to get access to enemies there, up there, 
up there and then up there as well uh, and then coming over here again this is basically just where b is uh, but i'll cover this here in a second so now running all the way back here we'll go ahead and head over to again the, another destructible environment right here pretty much a useless one the only thing that this would be useful for right here is to just take out enemies that are running through here but even then though you can only really take them out as if they're over there or if you just quickly see them running that way um, so now coming over here again another destructible environment here now this is one of the maps that i would say probably has the most destructible environments we've ever seen um, maybe besides decoy i mean this one map has a ton of them um the only thing that's useful about this area I'm talking about this particular area here is that if i am right here gives me a very very good line of sight to enemies over there as well as enemies that are over there uh, but and again this is just kind of one of those routes that gets you to the middle now being over here this gives you um you know access to enemies that are on b especially if you're going to try and defend it as well as the destructible environment that's right there which i'll show you guys here in a little bit and you know I, this is a pretty good spot i i have seen people spend a lot of time in the spot here a couple of things that you can do is you can run down there and you can even run down there to uh, sort of uh, get out of this area i mean if you're going to be here i recommend probably getting one or two kills and then running away as fast as you can now we can go ahead and finally cover the middle of the map here which is again where the most uh, action happens so a few things about this building to keep in mind enemies can come from below obviously you guys can see that door there if i go prone here you can see that right there so enemies do tend to run through here from time to time um just depends on you know how the, how they are playing and everything like that um so this does happen quite a bit enemies do come down here there's not really much you can do about that obviously nothing special just keep your sights up and wait for them to come by um but what's really really cool about this building is it gives you quite a wide um range of this map um there's a whole bunch of destructible environments here as well you can destroy all of these here like this and like this again so many on this map this map definitely has the most destructible environments besides decoy but again what this does is it allows you to get a whole bunch of angles it can get you angles to b and get you angles to enemies that are right there over there down there and finally enemies that are over there if they're camping on top of that train car you can even see them from here which is pretty useful and then obviously down there down there and over here and even up there so pretty good spot here definitely see a lot of people up here all the time and you can even climb up here like this which is very very annoying but you can climb up here and this is one of the more annoying parts of the map so a couple of things that you can do up here is obviously just gives you a sort of surprise attack on enemies that are capturing b enemies that are over there and you can even get a really really long line of sight <clears throat> pardon me to enemies that are way over there spawning over by i believe that is either a or c i'm pretty sure that's a objective over there so this is a really 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 good spot but obviously it is counterable because you are up here so just keep that in mind uh, climbing up here i can crouch on this i can even mount on here and get a really 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 good overview to b again more destructible environments right here and basically what these destructible environments right here are good for is um is getting just surprise attacks that's really what this is for um, a lot of times enemies who just play or people who just play this map won't even know that this exists i think i figured out that this existed probably this fifth or sixth time i played this map so again a lot of people don't know about this so if you're if you're up here you can obviously get a few kills and maybe even go on a longer kill streak up here because again enemies just aren't going to know you're here it's, it's a really really weird spot to be in and it's very very high up so again enemies won't really know you're here um, especially because it is a little bit more complicated to get to i mean i would always sit up here but i never knew that you could actually jump up here and actually use that as an area again another destructible environment pardon me another destructible environment right there pretty much a surprise to no one at this point and now coming downstairs i've actually used this area as well so again this is the underground area that can kind of get you to this spawn point right here it's actually pretty sneaky if you go all the way underneath this and then come up you're not they're not going to really know you're there and you can actually kind of take them off guard and then again running through here here's another destructible environment that i showed you guys earlier i actually discovered this one and i really really like this destructible environment right here because it it gives me sort of a surprise attack to enemies up there and up there 
as well as it kind of takes some enemies off guard that are coming through this building because if I'm on the other side here and I go down these stairs and run through this destructible environment, they're not going to really know I'm here. So I really do like this uh, little destructible environment right here. It's really, really, really good overall. Now that this building is out of the way, we can go ahead and cover pretty much the biggest no-no of this entire map. First of all, don't spend much time running through here like this in this middle uh, hallway. It's really, really risky, or I guess hallway, even though it's kind of a wide open area. It's called the courtyard. Wouldn't recommend spending much time in here or running through here like this. Either uh, come off of the B objective and head into there, into that building, go through those stairs, or run all the way across. Don't run like this because you're going to get shot in the back. You're going to get shot in the front from enemies here. And it's just not a really, really good spot at all. I definitely don't recommend it. Um, and now let's go ahead and get into the final building of this video, which is where a lot of the action happens, which is why I did show you guys, um, you know, put a red circle around here because this area is very, very, very popular and a lot of action uh, goes down here. Um, so first of all, this is where the B objective is <clears throat> every single game, of course. And so there's a few things about this area. So first of all, we have ourselves this destructible environment here, which I haven't showed you guys yet. We also have this one here. Uh, lots of lots and lots and lots of destructible environments. Again, you guys can pretty much see where these help you. Again, aiming over there, aiming down there. And then, of course, this one aiming at that spawn, aiming on the roof here. And then, of course, um, over there a little bit as well. And then we also have over here, which is we have a mini destructible environment right here, which again, I don't, I'm not really sure what purpose this one serves. And I'm sure it serves um, a little bit of a purpose to take out enemies that are coming up the stairs, but it's really, really tiny. And again, not very useful. Again, same thing in, in some of the other previous um, spots is again, this one is pretty useless as well, because again, there's a doorway right here. Why is this destructible environment necessary? Again, I don't really know, but there we go. We also have more destructible environments right here. I mean, Sledgehammer Games just went completely all out with all of these destructible environments on this map. I mean, this map guide alone is going to be really, really long just because of all the destructible environments. It's kind of wild. Um, but again, same thing just gives you line, lines of sights to other parts of the map. You know, there's the reason that I think a lot of people have so many complaints about this map is that there's really no safe area. Everywhere is just wide open. I mean, I can get shot in any part of this map at any time from 10 to 20 different angles it's wild but it is what it is again i don't really have too many problems with the map because it doesn't play like that but it's just you know just going through this map guide video you just realize how many freaking destructible environments which there are on this map which again makes so many different li lines of sights towards enemies and again you guys can see them line of sight there line of sight there and even line of sight up there as well as just kind of crazy. Now coming up here, again, more destructible environments right here. Basically just gives you a very, very quick gunfight to enemies there. Same thing here. Now coming up here, this is where another one of those camping areas is. And this is up here. And again, this is all destructible here. This always gets destroyed every time I play it. Can we jump over here? Wow, you can. Holy crap. Okay. Well, so there's a whole bunch of areas on this map that, I mean, I didn't even realize you could get up here, but you can. I mean, there's just so many areas on this map. It's kind of crazy. But surprisingly, as I said, it doesn't play that horribly. It doesn't play great um, because of all these line of sights, but it's not terrible. It's not the worst map in the game by any means. But again, same thing here. This gives you a sort of surprise advantage, sort of like that area up there that I showed you guys. It just gives you a surprise advantage on enemies. It's really a good spot up here. Again, same thing over here. Can take out enemies down there. It's kind of a surprise. And then what is a big surprise to me is that I can even be up here, which can take enemies off guard that are coming through here, which is pretty crazy, not gonna lie. And then again, same thing over here. You can get more, more, more lines of sights towards enemies. And again, the, the thing about that up there that I showed you guys earlier and this area is that it's basically just used as a surprise area. Just keep in mind though that people do camp up here. They, they you know, they don't do what I do and get a couple of kills and run away. They just sit up here the entire game and it's super, super frustrating. Um, but eventually they do run away. They do come down here, but you just have to keep in mind that enemies do like to camp up here. And uh, by me showing you guys these, you can, you know, counter that, which, because obviously camping in Call of Duty is the most annoying thing. So last but not least, we are finally on the final stretch. My voice is absolutely killing me. Jeez. 
Um, we are on the final part of this map here, which is down here. And again, the best way for me to describe this room, more destructible environments, more destructible environments, blah, 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 blah. All over the place on this map. It's kind of wild, but there we go. Again, even this is a destructible environment as well. Just so many on this map. But again, there's really not much to cover here. Again, these close range areas, luckily, are the easiest thing to cover. Just keep your sights up. Use an SMG. Use a shotgun. Even an AR will be useful here. Just... Again, just keep in mind that you got to keep your sights up through here. This is just a very, very close quarters area. One of the very few close quarters areas on these maps. So, yeah, again, lots and lots of uh, aiming down sights here. Again, the only thing that is of any use, really, is this one. It just gives you a line of sight there. And it's a little bit of a more sneaky one that enemies won't know. So you can just kind of take them out from right there. But overall, again, not really much to cover here. It's a pretty self-explanatory building. Just a whole bunch of destructible environments allows you to get up to the top floor of that building and then allows you to sort of be on the ground floor to get into this building as well and that is it that is pretty much everything i can think of covering here on berlin luckily this is the last ginormous map here in the video so now we're kind of on the easy stretch of these map guide videos it's not like um you know these map guide videos are hard or anything it's just they're so taxing on my voice especially with these huge maps like this i mean just once again just look at all this crap on this map there's just so many things to cover i'm sure i missed some on the sites like yep i already missed one you can climb up on the tank take out enemies that are down there but there's just so much stuff here that i'm bound to forget something but hopefully you know some of the stuff i said was able to help you out that is obviously the goal of this video it's for the new players to get this game especially because christmas is i get not really right around the corner but it's definitely a couple of weeks away People are going to be getting this game, and I think that these map guide videos are really going to help you out if you are confused about these maps. Because, again, I don't blame anyone for being confused because there's so much stuff going on on all these maps. But, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this next episode of Map Guides here in Call of Duty Vanguard. Again, we have, I think, after this video, we only have about four maps left. So we're making progress. We're making a lot of progress here with these map guides, and I do have fun making them. They're just, again, very, very taxing. But, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did... A like is always appreciated. If you want to check out any of my other previous uh, map guide videos, they will all be down below in the in the description. I'm going to see this episode will be at the end of the video as well. I'll see you guys all on another Call of Duty Vanguard video very, very soon.